If you're starting a YouTube channel and you're constantly looking at new microphones to buy. Well, I didn't really wanna do this video and I fought it and I fought it and I fought it because this particular brand has been good for what we've done uh, for quite a while. Uh, with the first three, four, five months that we've been making videos, we've been using a particular brand of microphones and they've been extremely successful. However, as you guys saw in our most recent video that we did vlogging on a budget. This video, all I'm gonna do right now, I'm using the uh, Video Mic Go, and we bought a microphone, and then we ended up telling you guys that we do not recommend it, and we'll give some better options. So that's what this video is about. So really this video isn't just about a suggestion and it's not about only one microphone, uh, more so it's about a particular mic uh, that I'm gonna get into that we found that's so much better for the money that you spend and whether you have this budget or not, this should be the starting point for everybody and I'll tell you why. First off though, I wanna talk about the product that we've been having issues with and that is the Rode Video Mic Go. Now, if you Google anything online about this product, you're gonna know right away that it has many issues with wireless or electrical interference. I didn't wanna believe that in every scenario this microphone would have this problem. However, I've thrown away hours and hours and hours of footage because somewhere along the line, you hear this. <laughs> this video, all I'm gonna do right now, I'm using the uh, Video Mic Go. And I know, those are great sound effects. Uh, it literally ruins the audio. It's not like a little bit of fuzz and like crackling. It is like a straight up, like somebody is pounding on your microphone with like, something very metallic. Now we found this out when recording and we figured, okay, based on what we saw online, this would only be happening while we were near like a uh, wireless signal, like a router, uh, some sort of high frequency output radio signal, something along those lines. Well, no, that's not the case because we use it with cell phones. So if this is near my cell phone and I'm receiving any type of signal, this microphone continues to have an issue. Now again, this video isn't just about Rode and this one product. Um, this video is about a new product compared to this Rode product. Rode's a great company. I've had really good luck with their Video Micro. Never once seen any or had any interference on this guy. It's not something I use like I would use the Video Mic Go. Video Mic Go would be great for face-to-face -face interviews. Uh, being able to talk directly to the camera like I am right now. Which brought me to a product that I spent hours and hours and hours researching. And it's a brand that I haven't really had much experience with. Maybe somebody watching this video has, or maybe you're just now finding this product online and you wanna know more about it. Well. I'll do a little B-roll here. You guys can check out what comes inside the case, but this is the beautiful case they send your products in. And let me just say this before I go any further. This is the only thing you need to get your YouTube channel, your vlogging channel, whatever it is that you're doing, that you're just starting out, this is the only product that you need immediately to get started. Yes, there's some other things that you, you can get for setting, like lighting, backdrop, tables, things like that. But if you're just gonna be doing something where you already have all of that, this is the only product you'll need and I'll show you why. So this is my main microphone now. I use it because it's extremely easy to set up. I can use it with my phone. I can use it with a GoPro, granted that I have the actual audio adapter for the GoPro. I can use it with the DSLR. I can use it with my computer. I can use it with pretty much anything that has a 3.5 millimeter adapter. Um, it has a tripod that's very similar to the Joby HandyPod. 
I do like the Joby HandyPod a bit better, just a little bit more thought put into this product than the one that they give you. However, the one they give you is just as good, like comparing apples to apples, it's just as good. Everything that these two can do, they can do equally, right? It then comes with a single monopod little system, which is, it feels really good in the hand. It feels like it's 3D printed. It's got a tensioner on the top for your uh, one quarter inch thread. So you can put whatever you want on top of here. Um, it comes with a few different adapters um, for cold shoe mounting. Um, it comes with an adapter again for the cell phone and the DSLR. Uh, as far as cords go. And then um, it comes with a transmitter and a receiver. Now, according to uh, their description on Amazon, which I'll put down below, uh, the receiver can actually hold up to two microphones. Uh, so you can program two microphones to the same channel and the receiver can pick both of those up and you can record it using one device if needed. So this would be the perfect microphone setup for doing interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews. The next question I really had to ask myself is how effective is this product? Does it work? I'm going to walk into the other room so you guys can check out the quality and we're going to test the audio. Okay. I am actually out in the living room here and looking out the window. I'm not sure if I'm being fully picked up, but I can imagine I am. When the first thing I did when I got this microphone was I tested that. So um, I'm gonna go a little more in depth. I'm gonna do a little unboxing here. I'm gonna show you guys that. Remember now I've, I kind of fast forwarded a few weeks ahead at this point because I really wanted to test this microphone and see how well it actually worked. But now that I've been using it daily and consistently, for, I don't know, about a month now, on every single video that I do, hands down, this is probably my most recommended microphone at the moment for price, which I'll go over in a bit, and for performance, quality. I mean, this thing performs just as well as any XLR or studio USB microphone that we have used on this channel. But there's a plus and that huge plus is it goes everywhere I go. I don't have to worry about cords pulling across the room, trying to set this stuff up and getting the right angle and, and moving the lighting and doing all this crazy stuff. I just get to clip it on. You guys can probably hear every time I do this, I get to clip it on. I get to point the lights where I need to point them. I can move around. I know that was a pretty quick move. Uh, and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna show you a quick unboxing and we'll come back up here and we'll talk price and whether you should buy this or not. I'll go over our progression as a channel, what we started with and our progression as a channel. The first thing I bought, the first microphone I ever bought because I was using my cell phone was the Video Mic Go. And it was $59.99 plus $15 for the adapter. So we're looking at $75 for this microphone. And even though that microphone works really well, I've never had any issues with it, that $75 was kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, I had to mess with the audio in certain scenarios in post editing to really get it to perform the way I wanted it to perform, which is why I was excited when we got this video mic go. I figured it would pick up a little bit more directional noise, directional vocals than the cardioid would from Rode. Right now you can find it on Amazon for about $62, but I'm not even gonna put a link because I don't recommend it. This guy's a piece of crap. So in the meantime, what I did was I set up an old Blue Yeti that we had. My style of recording, I'm typically standing, typically moving, I have to grab things, and it's not really the best for me, which is where the Fulame came in. Uh, now, to compare, we have about $70 to $85, sorry, $60 to $85, $75, something like that. We have $80 to $100 for the Rode Video Mic Go. We have anywhere from about $80 to $120 on the Blue Yeti, depending on where you go. And none of these come with all of the accessories needed 
besides the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti does come with the stand and it comes with all your cables. However, you can't use it with a DSLR or a cell phone. So not really the greatest when it comes to that. You have to use it with a USB setup on a computer. That being said, the Full Aim uh, wireless microphone, lavalier microphone, comes with all the accessories that you need to use it out of the box, whether it's on a cell phone, an SLR camera, or even your computer. You can plug it into the 3.5 millimeter jack and it will register as an actual microphone. The receiver doubles actually as a clamp for your phone. The total I paid was about $130 for this Fulame. And if we wanted to compare that, if I were to go buy the Video Mic Go, which has been the best on the go microphone since before I bought this mic, I would spend 60 for the mic, 15 for the adapter, so we're up to 75. <clears throat> and then I paid 30 for this Joby does come with a, a, another mount for my cell phone, which I'm currently using. <laughs> so I spent 30 on this. So we had 75 plus 30 is 105. Now the downside with this guy is I would literally have to be within a foot and a half to two feet uh, from the microphone for, to, for you to be able to get the same quality audio we're getting right now from my mic. Now, if you're active and you're up and you're moving, and you don't want to have anything on you personally, that's a good route. But if you're in a closed environment, controlled environment, where you get to set the stage and your backdrop and everything, then 100% that this microphone, the Fu Lame wireless lavalier microphone, hands down, the best. And that's why I want to make this video. That's it. That's enough out of me. You guys saw the unboxing. You saw the price comparison. You saw the Fu Lame. Road, get your stuff together. I'm irritated about this. I contacted service, their customer support, and they told me the same thing they're telling everybody online. Oh, you know, there's wireless interference. Just don't put it near a router. It's like, well, what am I supposed to use this for then? If I'm not able to use it indoors, is it only an outdoor mic? Well, you don't advertise it as such, so uh, do something about it. That being said, toss this guy, throw it away. Nobody needs it. Grab yourself a video micro or grab yourself the Foo Lame wireless microphone. I'll put a link down below. Thanks for watching everybody. We appreciate all the recent subscribers, all of our subscribers for that matter, and everybody who takes the time to watch these videos. We hope it helped you massively. Um, like it, these are, you know, this, this took us some time to put together. Uh, so we, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, subscribe if you can and stay tuned for the next video guys. Have a good day.